Today, we'll learn how one organization uses the DB2 performance optimization feature to maximize system resources to achieve business objectives. The Great Outdoors Company Data Warehouse provides business critical support for both marketing and sales. Unfortunately, the customer relationship management queries used to support sales activities in the call center have slowed down and become unpredictable ever since the marketing team started using software to run complex analysis of market trends. Steve assigns the task of fixing this issue to the warehouse DBA, Albert. Sales is asking for an SLA in which 90% of response times must be less than 5 seconds. Preparing to tackle the problem, Albert logs into the Optum Performance Manager Extended Insight Dashboard. The dashboard visually alerts him that the sales application is not meeting its response time goals. The response time histogram shows a wide spread of response times. The grid view of this data is sortable, so he can see that a majority of the queries are receiving response times greater than 5 seconds. The resource-intensive queries in the marketing application show response times are clustered in the range from 1.5 to 5 minutes, which management has agreed can be increased as needed in order to keep the business moving forward with existing resources. Albert is now ready to see what he can do to ensure the high-priority sales application meets the goals of the business. Before we watch Albert tackle this issue, let's quickly review the workload management process that administrators typically follow. A central point is that the process is centered around business goals that you define. After the goals are established, you need to identify the activities that you will manage, such as by application name or user ID, and group those activities into what is known as a workload. The role of the workload is to direct incoming work from a specific set of connections to a specific DB2 service class which tells the system how to distribute resources appropriately. You can also control the number of queries that run concurrently, and you can even define threshold limits to detect and control runaway queries. Finally, after you've configured workload management, you monitor your database activity to see if the changes you've made are bringing activity in line with your business goals. This process is easy using intuitive configuration and monitoring capabilities in Optum Performance Manager Extended Edition, which is included as part of the DB2 Performance Optimization feature. Template configurations get you going quickly and hide unnecessary complexity. Configuration commands are generated automatically, and you can monitor your results all within the same environment. The Workloads tab shows that both the marketing and sales applications are grouped into the same workload, named GS Apps. The GS Apps workload is defined as part of a larger business process called Go Sales. Both applications have several concurrent activities. Conveniently, this view also shows him connection attributes for the running applications. He will need this information when defining a new workload. Because the marketing application is resource intensive and is not as high priority as sales, he creates a new workload for it, which he thinks he can move to a lower priority service class, freeing up more resource for sales. First, he gives the new workload a name, then assigns this workload to the existing business process, then provides a connection attribute that identifies the activities from this workload. Finally, he assigns this workload to a lower priority service class. Then he removes marketing from its old workload by deleting its connection information. Now, only the sales application is in that GS Apps workload. The configuration does all the work for Albert by generating the appropriate SQL to run on the target DB2 system. After allowing time for the applications to run with the new settings, Albert uses Optum Performance Manager once again to check the response time histogram for the sales application. 
Things are looking much better, but he hasn't quite met the SLA, and he decides to do some further tuning by specifically managing the number of concurrent queries. Looking at current activities, although sales and marketing are in separate workloads, there are several marketing queries running concurrently. He looks at the history to verify that indeed the marketing queries are consistently reaching their high watermark of five concurrent queries. Because these queries are resource intensive, they are probably starving the higher priority sales application of some resources. By restricting the number of concurrent queries for marketing, the sales application should get more resources and better response times. Albert reduces the concurrency limit for marketing from five to three concurrent queries, and then runs the generated SQL for the configuration change. Later, he checks the response time histograms for both applications. Although marketing response times have lengthened, they are still within acceptable limits. Looking into the sales response time data, he's happy to see that the response times for sales have improved, and now handily meet or exceeds the SLA. The DB2 performance optimization feature provides the infrastructure, configuration, and monitoring capabilities to help you manage your database work. It helps you manage conflicting demands on available resources. An example, as we saw with our Great Outdoors team, is being able to keep short, transactional queries in a warehouse environment executing at a consistent and predictable pace. And you can automatically detect activities that exceed threshold limits and optionally stop the activity before it seriously impacts the rest of the system. DB2 Workload Management is available as a packaged solution in the DB2 Performance Optimization feature, which includes both the license to enable workload management on the DB2 server and Optum Performance Manager Extended Edition. Optum Performance Manager Extended Edition goes above and beyond workload management configuration. It provides rich monitoring, alerting, and reporting capabilities for your DB2 server as well as extended insights across the software stack for your database applications, including key packaged applications such as SAP and Cognos. To find more information about the DB2 performance optimization feature or how other integrated data management solutions can help you manage the data and database application lifecycle environment, click on the available resources shown here.